Hi guys, this is Sweet Budgets. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So for today's video, we will be stuffing um, 490 ringgit for the third week of April, which is between the 22nd to the sorry between the 17th to the 22nd of April. So um, I almost didn't make this video basically i did use my new microphone but unfortunately the sound was a bit weird because i misplaced it so i am trying to remember exactly what i said um when i took this video uh here i am pointing to the money that i will be stuffing and i will be telling you now that this amount is what i have unstuffed from my envelope so i went ahead and took out gifts which is 45 ringgit um, pet supplies which is 130 and that snowball which is 65 ringgit so you all know that in gifts i was supposed to buy my friend a gift last month so we've been busy and i'm finally going to do that now pet supplies i am going to go and find some treats for my cats hopefully later on and then in that snowball i am adding the 65 on top of my loan uh, just to make it look a little bit more better okay so um that's all i have already unstuffed this from my envelopes and i am gonna go ahead and continue on with my stuffing of my sinking funds okay so i'm gonna put this to the side and basically what happened was i was a bit hesitant to go to the bank this week because you know sometimes it can get a little bit like fussy so i have to figure out how i'm gonna do that moving forward um it is on a weekly basis so i'm not used to that and another thing that i want to tell you guys is that i have removed uh most of the 50s and hundreds from my envelopes and put them in a bank uh just for safety reasons before you know i can figure out exactly how i want to work around that yes yeah, so basically those are the two things that i wanted to highlight uh before i start sinking my funds okay it should be any time now i can't even remember everything that i said when i was recording this and well i'm tired of apologizing but you know these technical issues do happen guys so it's not really going to be an asmr it's just going to be like this voiceover of me figuring out what i'm saying and why my hands are moving so much right here all right girl let's just start into the sinking funds probably now now okay now great job all right so here i am opening up um where or how much i'm going to be stuffing in my envelopes just for my usual reference purpose and this is me grabbing the cash so it's 490 ringgit i don't have any five ringgit nominations this week so i will be only putting in um 50s 20s 10s and fives all right so by the way the weather is seriously not great um these past few days so i hope everyone is fine i know that most of my colleagues are all falling sick um so i hope that you know during this fasting month everyone else is hopefully doing well all right so now i'm gonna start off with my first binder which is my savings and emergency binder and emergency so as you can see i have put in my placeholder so there is 350 in the bank it kind of looks really ugly now that i see it but <laughs> but for this envelope it's gonna be getting 50 ringgit for this week as per usual okay so savings there is 50 in the bank um, for savings and this week it will be getting its normal 30 ringgit which is 20 and 10 
all right so next is recovery so recovery is going to get its normal 10 ringgit my envelope with a unicorn is gonna get 10 ringgit okay so moving on to my challenges so the 15 ringgit challenge is gonna get its 15 which is the 10 and a 5 ringgit note and 25 ringgit will be getting its normal 20 and 5 so there you have the 100 ringgit in the bank um, and that's the placeholder I was showing you just now for the 30 ringgit challenge similarly it also has 100 ringgit in the bank and it's gonna get its 20 and 10 domination Okay, so one week extra, we'll be getting 10 ringgit. Home emergency, we'll be getting 10 ringgit. And car emergency is going to get its 10 ringgit as well. All right, okay, so apparently here I realized that my battery is low on my phone, so I need to speed it up right here. Car insurance. So in car insurance, I did put 400 ringgit in the bank um, and car insurance is going to get 20, sorry, it's going to get 40, so that's two 20s. Phone is going to get its 10 ringgit. Optical is going to get 5 ringgit. Clothing is getting 10 ringgit. Vacation is getting 10 ringgit. Road tax, oh, gifts is empty. So basically, I'm gonna put in 10 ringgit for gifts. Road tax is fully funded. Work expenses is going to get its 20 and next week um, my team and I are going to have our get together buffet Ramadan so that will be useful. Health, it's getting its normal 5 ringgit. Pet supplies is also empty because I just unstuffed it so it will be getting 30 ringgit. Debt, is that debt snowball? Yes, that is. So debt snowball is gonna get 10 ringgit and that one also I just unstuffed as mentioned earlier. Okay, so extra is getting 10. Birthday is also gonna get a 10. Eid is getting a 10 and I'm thinking of bumping that up probably next week. And house is going to get a 10. So that finishes off my sinking funds binder and next up will be my challenge binder. So in my challenge binder, I have my 5k challenge and I realized that I did have 500 ringgit already in there. So 450 of that is in the bank and I'm rotating it back to 50 ringgit for this week. So every single time I hit 150, I will go back to 50 ringgit. Okay, so for this week, five weekly is going to be getting 30 ringgit. So that will be a 20 ringgit and a 10. All right, and car maintenance is going to get a 10. And I need to remember to wash my car. <laughs> and lastly is future. So future will also be getting a 10 ringgit. All right. So basically that's it guys um, for this week's video. Thank you so much for joining me.
I do want to create a video on the items that I use uh, for my channel here, for example, all the binders, even um, how I make my envelopes, what I did order online. So if you want to see that, you can check that out um, in my next video. Kindly click the subscribe button and the like if you do like this content. And if there are any other comments, please do comment them down below and I would be happy to read them. Uh, any feedback is welcome. As you all know, we all need improvements like this one, for example, me using the voiceover instead of my microphone. So it's still a learning for me and thanks so much guys, but that's it. See you in the next one.